Burn, book games, burn. Welcome to the VFriend Series 2 Burn Sales Strategy episode. I'm Busy NFT, and you're watching all things Web3. Today, I'm going to give you all the info you need to make great decisions during the VFriend Series 2 Burn Sale that's starting April 27th. Before I do, please be clear that I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. Also, I haven't received any compensation from any company or product that I may mention today. Now, for VFriend Series 2, you can obtain one of the 15 new characters by burning Book Games tokens. Each day has a token requirement that must be met to enter the raffle, and each raffle offers 214 chances to win. Now, I have reviewed information from bookgames.info to see which wallets hold the required frames for each day. You can click the link above or in the description to see a demo of this tool and get your own discount code for being a busy NFT subscriber. For this data, I assume that anyone with the required frames would enter every raffle that they're eligible for. Also, I didn't remove any of the unclaimed tokens because there's still time for them to claim them and enter the raffle with them. Finally, this data changes by the minute, so this is just a snapshot in time, and odds are subject to change. Here's what I came up with. Here are the 16 days and the associated frames required to enter each day's raffle. If we take the number of winning entries at 214 and divide it by the number of possible entries, we get the win percentages seen here. Then we can reorder the characters to demonstrate which give you the best chance to win. As you can see, Alpha Alligator has the highest chance of winning at 78%. Mindful Minikawa and Competitive Clown are close at 50-50 and so on. The Red Devil is high on the list, likely due to the rare frames required. At the bottom are characters where any and all sets of five can get in, giving you a very small chance of being selected. This info is great, but it isn't prescriptive enough. We really need to understand value. It may be that you can win with Emerald, but at what cost? I've added in the lowest cost to get the necessary tokens to enter for each day. You can see that Emerald gives a high chance to win, but it is fairly pricey. Tranquil Toad on day six looks to be half the cost, but only half the chance of winning a raffle spot as well. Nearly two thirds of the burn days can be entered for about the same price. So does it seem like the toad, penguin, or fairy make the most sense? We need to understand the relationship between win percentage and price to find the value that we're looking for. Speaking of value, if you find this channel helpful, please consider subscribing. Also, I do try to read and respond to every comment I receive. I really do appreciate you. Let's add in the expense ratio. That is the price relative to your chance of winning. In this case, the lower the number is, the better the value you are receiving for your spending. This standardizes the cost to get the required frames and paints a different picture for what you should consider. Notice that the red devil has a very high expense ratio. Even taking the cheapest required frames, in this case, five pearl, it's nearly three times higher than other surrounding frames. If we reorder this list, we see the full picture. Mindful Minikawa is actually the best deal going, and I've seen the price for Patience Lava continue to drop this week. Tranquil Toad and Alpha Alligator are next, followed by the Clown, Penguin, and Fairy. You can get into the Toad Raffle for 1.88 ETH or the Penguin Raffle for 1.74. Even the Fairy and Panther are near 1.5, and both are above 1 in 4 chance of winning. F and A, Cotton, F and A. If you're valuing the Red Devil because Gary has called it out, you're going to pay more for it than maybe you should. It isn't any more rare than the other new characters per se, but Gary has put a premium on it, and that seems to be priced in. Obviously, the specs are going to be sought after. While they do have a high price, there's only 90 of them, so your chance of winning the raffle is about 1 in 20 and you're going to pay about four ETH for that chance. People ask all the time what's going to happen to the floor. Personally, I don't see the floor dropping much lower than it is through the burn sale, 
And in fact, I think the demand for rear frames keeps those floors steady or maybe allows them to inch a little bit higher as we approach day 16. Since all sets of five frames are available to be burned for day 14, I would imagine a steep drop in the floor for book games overall on May 12th. This would be a good chance to pick up some tokens cheap for the next game. Because Web3 is the future, book games is forever. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.